Okay. <clears throat> what is up, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> what is up, ladies and gentlemen? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Sublimely Elgin, you should always welcome to the uh, installing Doom Builder 2. Ow. I appear to have hit my booze. Anyways, I'm installing Doom Builder 2 because I have a solid state hard drive now which required that I reinstall all the applications necessary. Uh, setting up the codex this time around was oddly difficult, but the codex appear to be set up properly and I think it's running at decent frame rates. Um, or decent quality, excuse me. If not, you're not going to see this video. But it should be. So I've headed on to the Doom Builder website, which you can find via the intranet. Very technical stuff. You want to open up a web browser, um, if you know what those are. Um, I, this is super technical stuff. But you want to open up a web browser thingy, and then go ahead and go to this little bar space in the top portion. I, it's technical names, I know. And then... Um, you want to go to doombuilder.com. I can show you where it takes you if you do that. It takes you here. This is the doombuilder.com website. You want to go to downloads and then click on this main link because mirrors suck. Unless the main link doesn't work, in which case then we'll, we'll use a mirror. But it looks like it's downloading... Oh, well, hold on. 13, 14, 16, 20 seconds, 10 minutes. What? 8 minutes! Seven min- nine minutes! What is it doing? Seven, eight, six minutes left. Five, four, five, f four. Figure your shit out, bro. What is going on? Figure your shit out. Okay, so it appears either my network is, um, bogged or their server is slow or something. Nine minutes. Seven minutes. Uh, okay. Five minutes left. Um, it's only 15.6 megabytes. My internet is faster than that. It has to be. There's no way. What's going on? I don't have Skype open or anything. I don't know. That's weird. Eight minutes, five minutes. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and pause this, and then we will be right back when it is done downloading. Okay. Okay, welcome back. It's bumped itself up to 19. To 38 minutes! Oh my god! That is insane. Oh, no minutes. We're gonna use... <laughs> Let's try a mirror. Four, one, done. <laughs> and this is... Ah, oh, that's funny because I was just talking about how mirrors suck. Alright, cancel. Okay, so we've got our download. Regardless of which of these you've clicked on, you're getting the Doom Builder 2. You have these requirements, which are fucking hilarious. 2.4 gigahertz CPU or faster. <laughs> XP Vista 7. <laughs> Operating system up to date. <laughs> and graphics card with pixel shader model 2.0. Who the fuck doesn't have these things? Who the fuck doesn't have these things? Come on. You, don't, you might as well not even have system requirements. That's like telling people the system requirements for Doom 1 today. Be like, oh, you, you have to have at least Windows 95. And 512 kilobytes of RAM. <laughs> Thank you, id software. I didn't realize. Go ahead and click, and that's going to open up a thing. You're going to be like, wow, what do I do? Run. That's what I always do when I encounter new people. Welcome to the Doom Builder 2 Setup Wizard. Uh, this will install Doom Builder 2.1. Whoa! Technical. On your computer, it is recommended that you close all other applications. Uh, no. I'm going to keep my web browser open. I'm gonna keep my recording software open because how the fuck would I make this YouTube video? I'm not closing my shit. Next. Uh, when I'm ready, click next. Sounds good. To continue, click next. Uh, okay. To continue, click. D why must I? Additional icons. Yeah, I'd like that. Next. To continue to begin with the installation or click back if you want to review or change any settings. I don't I want to click next. Install Microsoft.NET Framework. Next. Oh, that's install. An app. Download and install this feature. Okay. So this is where things get a little hectic. Because at this point in time, we are now installing... What was it? 
Net Framework. We're installing Net Framework, which I didn't have before. Or if I did, I had an old version. But, while this is downloading the required files, wow, that's pretty fast. It's faster than Doom Builder's fucking server. Go ahead and download a thing. Again, technical names. This thing is G Z D O O M or G Z Doom. Um, and then go ahead and open it, and then point it to your official Doom or Doom 2 WAD, of which I have in this folder labeled official. I do actually own the games though, so I just named it official because I've got a bunch of custom made WADs as well, so I don't want to get them mixed up and. It's easier just having it all compart com compartmentalized. Compartmentalized? I think compartmentalized is, just, is the right way to say that. I keep my sheet clean, yo! So that's why I did that. And you're going to want to set up GZ Doom as well. I'm not going to go through that because that is a whole host of things. Basically, go to the options menu, go through everything, and you're good. Basically, all you got to do for GZ Doom, unless it's not running in your system, which it usually would, that's a uh, very modern interpreter. Uh, that should be pretty easy to do. Uh, the following feature was successfully installed. Net Framework 3.5. Aren't we only 4.0 or something now? Why did I need 3.5? Okay, now what's it doing? Oh, now it's doing Doom Builder 2. Now it's doing Slim DX Runtime, which runs on Net 2.0. Now it's complete. I click Finish. We can go ahead and minimize this, and you will see that. That little icon is what we wanted the whole time. It's just that icon. Because for some reason, they couldn't just put that icon on the computer. Instead, it had to do all that magical shit in the background. We don't want that. With your new Doom Builder window, here are the things that I do to my system to make my shit clean, yo. Alright? Get rid of that thing this thing that pops out, we need to change that. So go to preferences and then uh, side panels uh, none and then okay that gets rid of that but we'll go back to preferences because we have some more things we actually need to do in here so uh, the image preview size I like to bump up a little bit um, for toolbar buttons go ahead and click all that shit. All oh, that's really nice and that's gonna pop up right here oh I'm not showing my mouse cursor Shit. I don't know if I could change that in the middle of recording. Um, I'm going to stop recording, and turn it on, and then continue as if nothing happened, okay? Okay, it's like nothing happened. Here is where all that shit will pop up. So we've turned on all those nice toolbar buttons. Um, again, I could show you the side panels is here. Click down on that and go to none. I apologize, I didn't realize that was off. Field of view. Bump that up if you like to say 110, 120. Those are some pretty good field of views. Just gives you a bit more to look at when you're in uh, visual mode. For controls, you're going to want to go through this for a little bit because this is where you will con uh, not confuse yourself. Uh, get comfortable with the controls of the software in question. And there are some key changes I like to make right away. So I immediately go to visual modes auto align textures we want to change this to Z auto align textures on the Y axis we need to change this to shift Z and then for move uh, all of these movement ones move backwards becomes S move forward becomes W move left strafing is A and move right strafing is D you might notice this as WASD or the typical thing you move around in three dimensions in any program ever. Why the fuck would you use ESDF? Fuck off, Doom Builder. Get your shit straight. Choose a better option. So now that we've got that changed, uh, we can go ahead and go through the rest of this. I believe everything else should be fine. That's usually what I change right away, and any minor tweaks I find I could make, I do uh, later on as I'm editing, typically. Uh, let's see, editing is all fine, the drawing, vertexes, and all that stuff, classic modes, boop, boop, da boop, boop, oh yeah, 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 there might actually be one more we want to change, and that is to enter visual mode, modes, uh, visual mode, change that to Q, 
Yep, now we have no conflicting keys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go to appearance. All personal. All personal. You don't have to do shit in here. Uh, typically, I like to bump the transparency up. Uh, actually, let's just do one. I like square things because um, it makes it easier to know where their actual surface area is uh, relative to the thingy that you're, you're working with. Um, the relative to the surrounding sector is a nice one to have when you're working on many levels within an area. And then this shit gets a little annoying. I bump these down to um, <coughs> 5 pixels because it's just... I need more control. It's like they expect me to be super zoomed out the entire time. They're like, we'll just guess within 20 pixels for you. No, I'll I'll zoom in and, and do it myself, thanks. I'd like to keep control over that. And then there's only one more thing that I want to change. I believe it was in here. Black background for image browser. Most of the people working on Doom uh, are probably in a darker room alone in the middle of the night and don't want bright white stuff glaring at them from the screen. Oh shit, maybe that's just me. Anyways, we'll click OK. That'll save our settings. That's great. Now we need to go to game configurations and this is where you're going to click on the many things. Um, not like I'm doing, you're going to actually do it for usefulness. But you'll click on the things that you want to use. So, whether it be Doom, Doom 2, Header, Heretic, Hexen, uh, Ryzen 3D, Skull Tag. Boom! There's lots of different stuff in here. I would typically... I guess it, it, if you're watching my videos, all my videos are done Z-Doom, Doom in Doom format. If you want to follow along in my videos to the T, and you're not really good at like generalizing the teachings in such a way that you can you can kind of contort information the way you need it to work it would be best if you chose this format i've been told by some people that doom in udmf format is superior fuck all of you um <laughs> i'm kidding uh it's i'm sure it's great it's just i've spent so so many years working with Z-Doom, Doom and Doom format. It's like, I, I'm used to it. It does what I need. Why would I, why change? You know, I'm sure it's great. A lot of people still have Hummers and Priuses are probably pretty great, but hey, I already bought my Hummer. So why would I go buy another car? Is pretty much what I'm saying. So no, I will stick to Doom and Doom format. I do appreciate that people are trying to help me, um, but I, I do have reasons that I'm sticking with it, and it's because it's what I've grown to learn. Um, as for Doom 2 and Doom, the standard configurations, those translate fairly well to ZDoom, Doom, and Doom format, I know. There are a couple glaring, missing things that my teachings would get lost in translation between, but for the most part, add resource, and then we're going to go to... Uh, from wad file we're gonna add a wad resource oh shit I don't want to open that I just want to do this can I not do that? Oh, I can't do that well I already have the folder I need so I'm gonna just copy paste this shit in here are you serious? there we go okay I was gonna say fuck off Windows 10 and then I will select my Doom 2 WAD because I don't like using uh, multiple WADs in the same system because I cannot tell for certain without discreetly asking or descriptly asking if somebody downloading any game, any um, uh, personal maps that I've made has both versions of Doom, both Doom and Doom 2. I cannot confirm that everybody owns all of the Dooms like I do. So I, I just keep it for Doom 2 because it's, you know, Pretty much the updated version of Doom 1, and the only thing above that would be Doom 3, which isn't even in the same ball game. And then I suppose Quake would kind of be like an intermediate for that, but Quake is also a whole different ball game in how you would make a 3D world, which is far more complex. I used to work on I'm making 3D worlds with Doom 3 uh, using, I believe it was Radiant, I think they called it. 
hyper complex shit. I think I made one room that looked really badass, showed my dad, and then was like, well, I'm done. <laughs> I can't, I can't do a whole world in that. It, it's, it's super complex. It requires a lot of, um, knowledge. So once you have all the resources in here, which I assume you've been doing while I'm talking, at least I hope, uh, you can pretty much ignore everything except for testing because you need an application in which you're going to test your WAD files. So I have downloaded GZ Doom, and like I showed you earlier, I hope you did too. So I'm just going to copy over the GZ Doom thing. There's the uh, EXE, and then add it, and then bam, okay. And now we will simply import do I have a f okay I'm gonna go here I'm gonna import belligerent cats I cannot drag and drop they really need to update this program with some drag and drop that'd be nice so we are no not new open bring it over here uh, excuse me belligerent cats open that map one Z doom doom and doom format the configuration that I already set up and lo and behold, we have a map that we can actively run around in, and everything works fine. And I'm using WASD, of course, and I entered it with Q because I changed those settings. And this is actually the level we were working on live. This will be continued in the future. It's, uh... All of my recording has been postponed for quite a long time, as you guys have noticed. I had quite a lot going on. Uh, I'm starting to get everything situated to a point where I can slowly ease back into recording again. And I'm glad that you guys have been so patient with me because even in the. Shit, it was weeks that I didn't upload anything. You guys still kept subscribing and, and asking me uh, about, you know, when are we going to get some more content? And I. I just can't do everything. You know, I, I have stuff that I have to do. But hopefully, you were able to follow along this. Uh, there's going to be a thing telling you that there's a lot of sarcasm, and, and to if you're easily offended, please do not watch, because so much of this was uh, bullshitting, because it's it's an easy program to set up, but I had to install it, so I was like, fuck it, I'll make a video. It's not something I would do myself, so let's make a joke out of it kind of deal. Except it was still actually like able to teach you and the things you could do <laughs> to install the application. And I really love like just running through a level like it's a race. I don't know why. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.